This delicious red velvet cake recipe was submitted by All Recipes member JJ John, who wrote that this is a family favorite, great for the Christmas holiday. Begin by greasing two nine inch round pans. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Now, in a small bowl, make a paste by combining two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder with two ounces of red food coloring. In this case, it's two whole bottles. Mix the powder and food coloring completely and set the mixture aside. Next, in a small bowl, combine one cup of buttermilk with one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir the liquid ingredients until they're mixed. Now, in a large bowl, add half a cup of shortening and one and a half cups of white sugar. And cream the shortening and sugar together until the mixture is light and fluffy. Now, to the shortening and sugar mixture, beat in two eggs, one at a time. When the eggs are combined, it's time to add the cocoa paste. Blend the mixture until the paste is evenly distributed. Now, measure out two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. You're going to alternate adding buttermilk and flour to the shortening sugar, egg, and cocoa paste mixture. Start the process by adding a third of the buttermilk and thoroughly beat the mixture. Now, add a third of the flour and then beat the mixture again. Follow the same pattern two more times, buttermilk first, then flour, until all the ingredients are combined. Now, in a small bowl, add one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. and one teaspoon of white vinegar. And mix them. Then add this mixture to the cake batter and mix it in. The batter is now ready to be put in the cake pans. Place the pans in the preheated oven and bake for 30 minutes or until a toothpick inserted into the center of the cake comes out clean. Cool them slightly and then remove them from the cake pans and cool them completely on a wire rack. While the cake cools, you can make the icing. To start, in a small saucepan, heat up a cup of milk and add five tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Stir it constantly to keep the milk from scorching. After thickening, remove the mixture from the stove and cool it completely. Now, we can make the base of the icing. In a bowl with a cup of softened butter, add one cup of white sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Cream this together until the mixture is light and fluffy. And add in the cooled milk and flour mixture. Beat this until it's spreadable. Place the first layer of the cake on a serving plate and frost it. Carefully place the second layer on top of the frosted base and frost the outside of the cake.
This cake should be chilled until serving. An All Recipes member noted, I have a recipe that was deemed original from a newspaper clipping almost 40 years ago. This recipe is identical and it is wonderful. I use powdered sugar instead of granulated. Absolutely excellent.